George Mallory was asked why he climbed Everest, but why do you go and do something like that? He said it because it's there. And I really can empathize with that in the sense that there's a restlessness when you're young, when you've explored the boundaries of your current surroundings. You're always asking yourself what's out there. There's a real beauty in that proximity between comfort and danger and riding that line is intoxicating. Knowing that it's very, very hard to replicate, knowing that if you go home, you are leaving that feeling behind was a strong, strong reason to stay. It is all about the ride at the end of the day. One of my favorite quotes is by Bruce McLaren who lost one of his closest friends in a, in a very, very tragic accident right as he was getting into Formula One racing. And at his funeral, he said, life is measured in achievement, not in years alone. And that stuck with me. Those are words to live by. The things you do, it doesn't have to be newsworthy. It doesn't have to be going around the world. It just has to be an adventure for you and an achievement for you suddenly the, the worries start to fade away and you can, you can push yourself far further than you ever thought you could. Don't worry about the rest of it. If, if the only thing you do is, is, is to get yourself to the point where you can take that first step on whatever the adventure is that you personally feel, then that's an achievement. That's a hell of an achievement. There's something extremely romantic, I think, about the sound of the exhaust. The fact that you're always a bit unstable. You're never quite planted, happy, everything's just, you know, there's always a risk you could just tip over or a rock could be there. There's just a certain connection to the road from the heat of the desert in the day to the, the depths of, of coal at night. That's what, that's what brings a place alive and that's what a bike gives you. I mean, don't, yeah, I, I love that thing. <laughs> that, that bike is my most treasured possession by far. I mean, I'm not a materialistic person. Everything that I've done, it's done. Every time I've been miserable and wet and lost, it's been there with me. What I love about the bike and, and yeah, that particular bike is that it isn't the loudest, it isn't the flashiest in the crowd, it's the pluckiest. You know, Napoleon was buried with his horse. Feel free to bury me with the bike. <laughs> I'm clearly heavily biased but it is the best, the best possible way to travel and an extremely you know, wonderful way to live. Um, yeah, and I miss it. <laughs> I really do miss it. <laughs>